Hello. It's been a while since I put anything out there on uh, YouTube. I have been uh, trying for the life of me to put my MTH 3977 Challenger 1 gauge, 132nd gauge as Mike likes to call it, onto a battery controlled remote control system by Revolution. Boy, oh boy. This locomotive does not like revolution. It does not like remote control from any other source other than MTH's remote control system. I tried twice, put it in the tender, and it just doesn't really like it at all. I think I'll be Charlie in the station I, master and see what's up. <laughs> that has a it has a running commentary as you can hear, a running commentary on the local in the program. It's a beautiful engine. I like it. It runs well, but it runs best on AC. On um, not on DC. I've had I've had it outside, and I probably have a video on it outside of it running on DC, but I'm going to put it on AC next year out there. I have it on the AC transformer here from Lionel, an older one. Works fine. I only got about 10 feet of track here, so I've been running it back and forth trying to get it to go, and then I fit smoke fluid in it. So it will smoke, and it will run real fast. I don't know if you can see the smoke. So it's sitting there in neutral now. I don't I think the smoke will run out in a minute. It seems to shut down. Anyway, it's a really nice engine. I don't know what they're worth nowadays. But this came from a friend of mine who was Clear. Came from a friend of mine who was selling all his his uh local his train layout. His name was Mark. I talked about him before he passed away from cancer or some disease. Anyway, I bought this ten years ago, I think, from Better him. Better drop off our outlaws at the next stop. <laughs> I don't know what he means by outlaws. Anyway, it's a great locomotive. I have messed around with uh, some of the tender a bit on the top. I have a battery inside that... Uh, because I don't have the remote control system for... for MTH, I decided to... Put an electric coupler on it anyway. See if we can get it to work. Hmm. There we go. Tell them to close that up. I just opened it up. Give me a break. Also, there's a battery inside, so I put the usual. I guess you can't see that very well on the thing. It says 20.5 amps. It just looks like 888 to you. Sorry. Anyway, 
This is a great locomotive. I will be running it outside later on. You can sit here and listen to your locomotive <laughs> run all day long. It doesn't move, it just talks to you. Inside the front, inside the front, yeah, the volume control for the speaker and the amount of smoke generated right now sitting here probably but I'll be Charlie in the station master and see what's up shaky old hands let's turn the smoke off there we go turn the smoke off You can hear the volume increase. So if I'm running it outside, I think I'll turn the volume way up. Great. Let's pump up the air so we're ready to go as soon as we're clear. process of trying to get this locomotive to run on remote control I put a little switch in the top and the boil between the two whistle sets that switch there will when it's forward it runs off track power when it's in the center it actually shuts the power off to both to the locomotive when it's in the other position, because it's a three position switch in the rear, that was while I was trying to make it run from battery power. Anyway, was not successful. That's what I've probably been doing for, well, that's what I've been doing for a week other than doing some electrical work. Putting in some cabinet lighting for my wife. She liked that. Anyway, I just thought I'd give you an update on what I've been doing. Uh, hope you had some, got some information from this video. Anyway, thanks very much for watching me, and thanks uh, for subscribing to my channel. Take care. Next there we go. <laughs> Sit here all day and listen to it. Bye now.